this is Irma Sandoval here at the Fitness Academy teaching Hurricane Training Level 2. Uh, just like you learned at TFW, we want to find out what we can do to maximize the maximum amount of people here. So uh, what Angie came and explained to me, and I actually have been thinking of this idea, is what about, I'm going to hold on to this Angie, what about if we created the hurricane this way, a different angle, 10 people, and we've actually put one spot, one person a spot, so that's 10 people, four to five stations. If there's 50 people, we have five stations, and uh, we will be adding a band on the star. Currently, we don't have the bands right now, but once we get 10 bands, then we'll have this station ready to go. So let's fast forward. Everybody has bands. This is how it's going to look if we have 50 plus people. And of course, if you have more than 50 people, you might have to add another station. So 50 people, 10, pe 10 uh, one line, 10 people, five stations, okay? So Angie's gonna do a sprint, she's gonna come back, we're gonna switch, she's gonna help me, and then we're gonna go all the way back and forward. We're gonna, be, gonna give you an example, warrior training, hurricane two, take action, three, two, one, go! Push, 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 push. So all she can do is quickly moving her feet. I'm doing one a second. Keep going, push through it, push through it, push through it. And turn around. There you go. All the way. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Push. 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 And this is going to be about 30 seconds, give or take. You have 15 seconds in between, and stop. So we're going to put this all the way down. We're going to switch. Put this on my hips. And it's not about how fast your how high your knees go. It's how fast your feet go. So this is specifically done if you don't have a lot of space and you still can get a great sprint. And she's not pulling on me, she's just holding me back. She's doing it for one a second. And I still feel my heart beating. I feel it all the way to the very end. And then again, you hear the sound, beep. Um, I would be helping the next person. And we're gonna continue fast forward all over here, right? This person would be resting. Angie, I'm going to guide you here because we're just going to give an example, right? I'm resting. She's going, and she's going to be doing a push-up. So she's going to get on her toes, hands right in her chest, uh, and inhale down, exhale up, and then elbows in. She actually has the option to do it on her knees as well if that is too much for her. And back is flat about three to four inches off the ground. Good. That'll be the station number two. Number one will be a V-hold or... If you have problems with your back or lower back, you want to bend your knees, back is flat, and hold it there. Or if you have a little bit more stronger core back, you can bring the legs straight and back flat and hold it there. Good, great job. And of course, you just saw an example of the sprint with a band. This is Irma Sandoval showing you how to unleash your greatness here at the Hurricane Training, uh, Training for Warriors, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.